It is important to remain calm and collected, even in the most extreme situations. In Umbrella's underground laboratory, I forgot that wisdom. Something about the meeting with Leon changed me. First things first, though. I must escape this town and survive in order to accomplish my objective. I can save the truth for after I make it out alive. setbacks. You have proven your value to us. Ada, there are two things you must be made aware of. One, in just moments, Raccoon City will be completely eradicated by a government-launched missile. In two, an umbrella officer will be leaving town in a helicopter. If you are not on it, there will be no way to leave Raccoon City. If the T-Virus did this, what would happen if the G-Virus got out? I survived the fate of Raccoon City thanks to Wesker's warning. Of course, I knew the only reason my life was spared was because I had the G-Virus tissue fragment. But I would settle things in time. We were both used to being backstabbed and manipulated. I had a feeling our partnership would last a little while longer. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. See you around. Ada! 